Ram Ram, welcome to another video of the Flowing Dutchman. If you haven't done yet, make sure to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about India, about maces and all the good stuff. This video is going to be an investigation into what is a traditional swing or traditional style. Now to give it some background, there was a um, debate on social media um, within the mace community about what is acceptable to do with a mace. So there's a big group of people that feel like they have to do um, that everything you got to do with a mace is traditional style. So that's the only thing you should do with it. Just swing with it, uh, do 360s with it, do 10 twos with it, and that's probably it. And then there's a group of people that feel like you can do everything with it. Just um, there are no boundaries to what you can do with that particular object. So that got, that got me interested because I've been to India three times now. And uh, what I found is that in India, it's very diverse. So some people are very into, well, they say from a particular area, they say, oh, you got to swing it like this. And then you come to the next state and they say, oh, no, you got to swing it like this. And I've also found that there's not so much Gada in India and it's mostly concentrated around Varanasi. And most of the time when you come out of Varanasi and go to a different state or area, you'll find that people say something else. So let's start by looking at the first example. Um, I visited an Indian club or Mukdar um, specialist in Pushkar and he told me this. Here, little bit different. Okay, what is different? Yeah. So what you saw there was me swinging over the shoulder with two mukdars. Well, he was basically saying, yes, this is Varanasi style. This is not like we do it here. Now stand on here. Inhale. Excellent. Chapa, now you are right shoulder, that you are here. And this is general. 90 degree. 90 degree. Yeah. Yes, good. Yeah, very nice. Perfect. Inhale when you go back because our elbow go back side, so we have an empty from here. So let's stand here and inhale. Alright, so you saw me swinging over the head eventually instead of over the shoulder after he gave me a little correction on uh, the technique that he wanted uh, me to do. And um, what I also figured is that he was probably talking about the Yori technique, which are the bigger clubs in which you swing over the shoulder. Now, in the next video, uh, Pratya Singh, who's a friend of mine from Varanasi, um, is going to show me and tell me how I should swing the mace with one hand. So there's a difference between swinging it two hand and one hand. Uh, we'll go over both of them. This uh, first video is going to be mainly about a one-handed swing. I would like to say something to you all. Uh -huh. That uh, many times I have seen uh, the videos in which uh, you swing uh, just off things from upper side mm -hmm. but from here it should be not like this it should be like here only it should be like this yes, your mess should be go from here not from the upper of the head of the forehead it should be not go from here well i just had a lesson from a, uh, from a yoga teacher in uh, pushkar mm -hmm. and uh, he told me the techniques about um, uh, mukdal mm -hmm. And he said that uh, this it was wrong mm -hmm. because it said that that's Varanasi style. Mm -hmm. We do it different. We go over the head. No, it should be not. Well, they. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because if if it is a heavy, uh -huh. then you can't swing over your forehead. Are you getting? Yes, I get it. It should be just like this. It should be like this. So here Prajay was telling me that I should swing and all the Western people should swing with one hand over the shoulder instead of over the head. And his main reason um, uh, was because you won't be able to do heavy weight if you'd go over the head. On the next video you'll see me swinging and he's asking me for a one-handed swing. And after that the guru comes over and corrects me a little bit. 
वन हैंड प्लीज वन बाई वन हैंड बाई वन आर्म गुड गुड हट जाओ सही फेर है गुरु जी और पावर से पावर से छोड़ो basically what he was telling afterwards was that I should swing over my shoulder not over my head um, but then again I was swinging at 20 kilograms uh, gada over my head so the proposition that you won't be able to swing heavy when you go overhead uh, is probably uh, refuted from here um, so in the next video um, I give the mace to one of the organizers of the traditional games in which they swing yori and gada and he picks up the mace and swings it like this. Oh. And both hands. Both hands. Perfect. And really, I. Now, if you've noticed um, that he was swinging it over his shoulder, but the moment he switched, he got over his head so even though they swing one handed over the shoulder whenever they do a switch they do swing over the head so they don't solely use it over the shoulder they also seem to swing over the head just as a transition now you also saw the two-handed swing already which is um, well it's mentioned in the west as a ten or two um, well in India it's just called swinging because that's the only move they basically do with two hands um, and it's also called a 300 because you go 300 degrees instead of um, 360 degrees. On the next video you see the guru who just mentioned that I should swing over my uh, shoulder instead of my head, swinging one-handed. And what is interesting that is because he's a nil yori swinger, which is basically a club with many nils, he's used to swinging more free over the shoulder, which also comes very close over the head. But you'll see that in the video. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ji. It should be just like here. It should be just like here. But he was actually going a little bit more over his head than you go you were. He was he was swinging because he's he swinging a nail joint. Right. So he don't want to <laughs> touch this thing on right, the right. I too. Because I swing the nail jewelry, so I must be practice without touching of this the shoulder. Right, right. Yes. Just like so that was quite interesting where you saw him actually swinging a little bit more closer over the head instead of only over the shoulder because he's used to nail jewelry swinging. Brajaya also explaining that he does that too. Now when we come to the two-handed swing, what you'll notice is that they only swing at 300 or at 10 to 2. Um, so they go from the hip towards the hip and then back to the to the same side. Now, most Western people who swing traditional um, do a 360 as their main move. Um, and a 360, you won't see it in Varanasi. Uh, they just don't do it like that. They, they don't make a full swing. So the dead point in the middle, they don't go through it. They only keep it side to side. Um, but if you come out of Varanasi, you will actually find people that touch, you know, most of the times they don't have a kada, they have clubs. But if I give them the mace, they'll swing it like a 360, which is very interesting. So in the next video, uh, I came to an Akhara, uh, wrestling Akhara, and I gave um, this random wrestler who, who was a, a national or at least uh, the champion of the village, uh, the mace, and you'll see how he swings it. Uh, Mr. Kanoj. Champion. <laughs> Champion. G. Uh. Now he's swinging it one handed straight over the head. Which is interesting because uh, that shouldn't be, you know, it should be over the shoulder. So in the next video, I actually take his club and try to swing it. And you'll see what comes up. Here is Albert Pahlwan. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for the Mukdar. 
He will start the mudra. No. Yes, yes. So once again I'm being corrected because of the I go over the shoulder and I should go over the head which makes which, which made my brain at the time really like what is going on you know what is uh, what is the right way to swing and does it really depend on which city you go to what is a correct swing uh, because in my mind um, an incorrect swing would be actually bad for you for example bad for the shoulders bad for the elbows um, but I can't really f seem to find a reason uh, from the body standpoint to, to say, oh, this swing is better. It's more related to, oh, my guru has done this type of swing and my guru has done this type of swing. Uh, well, I believe, you know, if you can do both. All right, in the last video, a show where people showed their, their arts, um, and we were I was asked to swing a gada there and you also see the other boy doing a 360 the way we do it in the West That was such a cool performance. Um, so to end this video, um, I'd like to, I hope it sparked your interest and made you think about what is a correct way of swinging, what is traditional, and uh, who knows, more Indian people who watch this will give me some more answers and clues into what is actually happening and why people are giving different kinds of information. I just love swinging and I just love every swing that feels good, where there is momentum and I do them all. So what is your opinion? You can comment that uh, down below. If you like the video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.